and now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the betrayal and arrest of Jesus. We saw how Judas betrayed the Lord for money, and Peter denied his Lord out of fear. We also saw Jesus instituting a simple meal of remembrance so that his disciples would continue to remember him until his return. Someone might ask the question, Is it still necessary and important to celebrate the Lord's Supper today? On that night in which he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus asked his disciples to do this in remembrance of me. We also notice that the early Christians met regularly each Lord's Day, that is Sunday, to remember the Lord by taking bread and wine as the Lord had commanded them. Paul also writes in 1 Corinthians 11 how Christians are to gather and remember the Lord Jesus by taking the bread and wine. In fact, this is the only regular and formal meeting of the church as described in the New Testament. We might also meet for the purpose of prayer, teaching, or fellowship, but the early believers' main purpose to meet was to celebrate this simple meal together and take the bread and wine in memory of the death of Jesus for our sakes. Unfortunately, the Corinthian believers were behaving inappropriately at the Lord's Supper. They made it into a common meal with everyone bringing their own food, and some were eating and drinking much while others were going hungry. Paul says this was not at all the Lord's Supper, and goes on to explain how Christians are to simply use bread and wine as symbols and share it among themselves in remembrance of Jesus. He said that they had their own homes to eat in, teaching us that the purpose was not just to share a common meal together, but to help believers remember the death of Jesus through the symbols of bread and wine. The point is not to eat, but rather to remember. The Lord's Supper is very important. Paul says that by this meal we are showing forth the Lord's death until he comes. This means that Christians are to celebrate the Lord's Supper regularly until the Lord comes again for his people. Churches have different ways in which they conduct the Lord's Supper, but the important thing for us to remember is the purpose of this practice, and that is to help us remember our Lord Jesus, for he said, This do in remembrance of me. Jesus wants us to think often about how much he loved us and how he gave his life for us, suffering in order to bring us back to God. The regular gathering for the Lord's Supper should cause us to love our God more and more, bringing forth worship from our hearts, inspiring us to serve him and learning to be like him. I hope at your church you regularly practice this most important remembrance meal, for it is very important to our Lord Jesus, who commanded all of his followers to do this until he comes again. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 Verse 24.